good afternoon. So this video is about uh, putting your, when you list your home and put it on the market, I'm gonna just talk briefly about what should be done as far as uh, marketing your home. So uh, one of the main things now would be uh, social media. Uh, you know, your home should be should be going on Facebook, should be going on Instagram. Uh, another thing that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that works really well is uh, you, the agent can do a, a mass email marketing out to agents and prospective buyers for a small fee. And uh, that would go out to all the agents in the surrounding areas, and uh, yeah, it's uh, really uh, important that the agent uses every tool that they can, especially in a declining market. You know, uh, some agents will say, oh, you don't need a sign or you don't need flyers. Uh, everybody goes on social media. And most people do go on social media, but uh, when you get up into the upper age, groups, you know, people that are in their 70s and stuff like that, the majority of them still are not using social media. So, uh, so you need to use every tool you can, uh, including, you know, a, a sign in your front yard, uh, as archaic as that may sound, uh, people that are not really even looking for a home maybe at the time if they see a, a house for sale that they've had their eye on for years and, and suddenly it goes up for sale well they just may uh, decide to go for that property you know and put their home on the market so there's uh yeah it's, it's really important that the agent markets your property you don't want to have it just listed and uh, put in the mls and maybe have a lockbox on there and that's that's it. Uh, that's not enough. And um, yeah, so I, I am a licensed agent in California. I, I'm definitely not any kind of a financial expert, uh, but these things are, uh, they're very important as far as getting your home sold. And um, yeah, so again, you've got your social media, mass email marketing, open houses. And a lot of agents will say open houses are, are just not effective. And, uh, and part of that's true. You know, uh, usually the percentage of people that sell their homes at an open house, uh, it's maybe, I believe it's two to 3%. It's a really low number. However, you know, it only takes one person to, to buy that home. So, so that's, uh, I, I still believe in open houses, you know, it, every little bit helps. The other thing that's, uh, I think is really important is doing a broker's open house. Um, and that would be where you, the agent holds your home open uh, the brokers uh, in the area are invited, the agents are invited in the area, and then you'll maybe, uh, they'll serve wine and cheese or sandwiches, uh, something to entice the agents to come through. You know, sometimes I've even seen them do a small raffle for something at, at the uh, broker's open. It's a good way to get your property exposed uh, right at the start so that all of the uh, other offices in town are aware of your property. It's especially important in a declining market where the homes are going to be harder to sell. Uh, so, you know, you want to have it priced right and you want to use all these different uh, tools and techniques that are available to get your property sold quickly for the highest amount. And um, yeah, so that's uh, really important. Now, when you hold your house open, uh, you wanna make sure that it's extremely clean. Turn on all the lights at the property. 
maybe you throw on a, uh, a pot of coffee to make the home smell good. Uh, you want it to smell homey. Maybe uh, you could bake chocolate chip cookies or something like that to uh, give it a good smell. Uh, when the people come through, you want them to feel like, wow, this is this is home. You know, so uh, that all that stuff helps. Uh, maybe cinnamon, the smell of cinnamon helps. Coffee again. All the lights need to be on. All the windows, the blinds all need to be open. It needs to look as bright as possible. And uh, another thing that uh, I, I've always recommended is uh, if you can put some flower pots by the front door. You know, if the people are looking at six or seven homes, for whatever reason, uh, yellow seems to stay in people's minds. So if you can do a, a flower pot there by the front door with uh, some yellow flowers, it's, uh, I mean, I, I know that sounds uh, maybe a little corny, but it's, uh, yellow uh, is a color that people remember. So anyway, uh, all these little things help. Make sure the yard's trim and cleaned and the lawns are cut. That first impression is everything. And uh, make sure the front door is clean. You know, um, that's the first thing they see as they're walking into the house is the yard, the front door. As they enter the home, all the lights should be on. Even if it's a sunny day, still turn on all the lights open up all the blinds, make the house smell good, and uh, hopefully maybe you'll get a buyer, you know, off of that. And you just never know. So, yeah, so that that's uh, pretty much it, I'd say, as far as open houses go. And uh, just, you know, remember your, your agent, uh, I highly recommend doing a, a broker's open so that every broker and agent in the area is aware of your property. And um, yeah, it can be simple, you know, wine, cheese, sandwiches, uh, just something, something small, something easy. It could be in the evening around dinner time or maybe around lunchtime, whatever, you know, whatever you uh, want. Typically the owner, the owner of the property normally uh, would leave the property during that open house um, so that the people coming through, they feel more at ease. So uh, yeah, anyway, if you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, you know, just send me a comment and, and I'll definitely respond to you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and have a good day or night uh, wherever you are. All right, thanks again for watching. Bye.